it's been a little while and I wanted to share that I've been out for about a little over a week and I've got plants and I had to take care of those so I'd like to share five different ways that I was able to do that number one is I took a bunch of plants that were mature such as lettuce plants harvested those cleaned up my gardens and replanted so what you see before you right now is the results of planting seeds before I took off and here we are after being out around nine days total and you can see that uh, from seed that these plants have not become large enough that they need to be pulled from these systems and this was a very beneficial way to get a jump on my plants when I came back. Number two, these large containers are often purchased for growing large plants and large plants will drink a lot of nutrient water while out. So with the setup that I have, I'm using dwarf and micro dwarf plants in large containers and that allows me to be able to go away for a while and come back and there's enough nutrient water in these six gallon containers that these micro dwarf uh, tomato plants have done quite well in my absence these tomato plants are also doing quite well and this is an Arrow Garden bounty, and the Arrow Garden is uh, fairly well known. It has several different features and a very easy interface on the front. One of the most important ones, if you're going away, is the vacation mode. Just a simple press of the uh, vacation mode turns it on and can be turned off with a press when you get back. It reduces the lighting over the plants, as well as the pump inside of the unit, which reduces the growth of the plants, but allows the plants to use less water and nutrients over the time that you are away. Moving up the scale in terms of complexity, so far I've shown you being able to start over with seeds, to use a larger container, to use options like vacation mode. And this is a little bit more complex, but not really. This is a let pot system, and it has a very unique set of options on it, and one of which is a reservoir system. I use this bucket on the side as my reservoir, and there's a tube that goes into it that runs to the back of the unit this comes set up and it's nothing that I had to create and there's an automation mode on the front of the garden so these gorgeous petunias were kind of a, a heavy drinker and they were in a smaller garden so I moved them into this larger system and as they have grown and used water the let pot system has pulled water yeah that's right it's not a gravity feed it's actually a pump that pulls water up and into the unit and automatically turns off has pulled the water that it needed out of this container and kept this plant super healthy and number five is a little bit non-standard in terms of the other methods that i've shown you this is a tripod stand that has one of the amazon blink cameras on it and that uh, connects to an app on my phone. It allows me to monitor plants that I can check the health on and if I see that uh, those particular plants are struggling looking like they're starting to wilt and in need of water, if you have a coworker or a friend that you trust with a key uh, to your office or a neighbor if you're at home that would allow you to notify them and uh, perhaps uh, give them a call or a text message to come in and add more water to a system. Uh, it would be very convenient if you were to leave a, a little watering container if that were the case, but uh, this would be the last of the five methods that I wanted to cover today.
And as a bonus uh, on this particular video, I wanted to say that it's not always the nutrient water that I have to consider. Sometimes there's pumps that need to run. Some plants highly depend on pumps, others not so much. And there are products that are out on the market, such as this uh, UPS backup unit. And this allows me to be able to plug in one of my systems that's more critical and let that run. Another thing that I've found a use for with this, uh, I'll show you the brand that I'm using. It's uh, Siwadafu. Um, anyhow, uh, another thing that the system will do in addition to the pumps is if I'm using like the blink camera that I showed you and you're in an area that maybe the power might go out, it will allow you to monitor uh, what's going on on your particular grow and the base station that those cameras are using can be plugged in uh, if you are uh, running a small wireless router, you could probably uh, plug that in as well. And that would allow you to get, you know, that uh, notification and help to sustain your grow during your absence. So hopefully these tips will help you out. And I certainly appreciate your comments. So feel free to like, subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think.